Hi, I'm Stephen Van Lannen, and I'm in the College of Pharmacy at the University of Kentucky, and my research focuses on antibiotic drug discovery. I was a late bloomer, I would say, in that I didn't start doing research until I was a graduate student at Portland State University in the Department of Chemistry. And my first project was looking at how a couple of enzymes function in order to modify transfer RNA. So we were doing a lot of the characterization of these enzymes and looking at the mechanism and trying to understand how they perform this unusual chemistry. One thing you realize when you're, when you're doing research is that you look back at your biochemistry book and you realize that that's just the beginning, right? So there's so much out there that we don't know and so much chemistry that, is, especially in, in living things that we just don't understand. And I think at that time, I was really influenced in my advisor and he looked for very, kind of very strange or unusual transformations in, in, in living systems. And I think that's influenced me to, to this day and looking for strange or unusual chemistry and how nature incorporates that chemistry. To my undergraduate work and as a postdoc, both were looking at natural products and the chemistry associated with natural products. And it's a very rich source of chemistry Historically, antibiotics have been discovered from or inspired by natural products, compounds from living organisms. My research program is centered on trying to discover new antibiotics from natural products. And really the key is that we want to find not just new antibiotics, but we want to find first-in-class antibiotics. So most drugs are becoming extinct now due to drug resistance. So most antibiotics today are, are simply just derivatives of old antibiotics, and those are the ones that are being pushed through clinical trials right now. The whole idea in my program is that if we have new chemistry, that probably means that they're targeting a completely distinct pathway or a distinct enzyme, but also be less prone to resistance at the same time. My favorite part of doing research is definitely talking one-on-one -on -one with the students in my lab. My lab has grown to six people now. Just sitting down and one-on-one -on -one talking and like, what have you been doing? What can we you know, think about doing next? And where are the problems that, you're, that are occurring in your, in your project? One thing you realize pretty soon, I think, when you're doing research is that it, it doesn't happen overnight. The research takes time and most of the time you're, you're gonna fail or get negative results. And so you have to be patient and you have to kind of guide students in order to to help them decide what the next experiment is that they should be doing. I've been pretty hands-off in terms of, of teaching my students and hoping that they can kind of feel that passion that I get when you try to solve an unanswered problem and you, you know, get some results that suggest that, you know, your hypothesis is correct. In the College of Pharmacy, there is great support for junior faculty starting up. It comes from the top down, from all the way from the dean down into the, the chairs and the associate dean for research. Uh, they really put their efforts into having you know, junior faculty succeed. So I've been here now in nine years, they're still very supportive in everything that I'm doing. It's a great place to get going and get started. And you can do anything at UK that you can do anywhere else in the world. Everything is here that you need to do top-notch research. Mm -hmm.